We are getting some potential big red hat changes with the Dawn of Ragnarok DLC on March 10th. The map of the new realm was also revealed thanks to Andy Reloads. Like a big shout out to him for this info and a link to his channel of course in the video description. We namely got new contracts that could reveal some interesting gameplay twist. Although I'm also not 100% convinced that it will really turn the red hat system around. Let's also look at how he has been doing these last few weeks. And overall there are some reasons to be cautiously optimistic. I will tell you everything you need to know in this video. Of course, if you enjoy the Valhalla content here on the channel, then leaving a like on the video would really help me out. And let's go. I started playing a brand new free mobile game, Hero Wars. I'm kind of addicted to it. And they're sponsoring the video today. It's an online RPG with PvP modes like an arena and PvE modes like a campaign where you can fight against powerful bosses and also get a ton of loot to make your champions better. I really love how you can easily look for specific gear you need in order to upgrade one of the more than 50 unique heroes that all have their own abilities and it's all about combining their powers to make the best team possible. You can play the game alone if you want or create a guild and chat with other people and again fight against other players too. So totally join the game right now and you then also get a super chest with a secret hero as well as 62 emeralds and 30,000 gold. Hero Wars is available on mobile but you can also play it through a browser. Just scan the QR code that you you see right here or download the game via the special link in the video description that way you get these cool rewards thanks to hero wars for sponsoring the video and i will see you in the game We've been pretty vocal about the state of Red Ahe's shop for a long time now. I made a video a little over a month ago, tweeted about it countless of times, and of course did my duty and impaled Red Ahe during the weekly reset stream to punish him and hope that things get better. And now Andy Reloads shared some statistics that reveal that by far the most items that Red Ahe is selling are, no surprise, ship or settlement cosmetics, and that new armor sets are being held back on purpose. While I remember tweets from Odyssey, for example, where they would celebrate the launch of a new pack by also saying that it was obtainable in an Olympian gift day one. So you could immediately spend an in-game currency for a chance to get these items. Now we have to wait months and months before these items are available in Ubisoft's carefully curated shop. Although, we did get a glimpse of hope last week when the Broken Blade, six weeks after its release, was available for 120 Opal. And a week before that, the two Dragon Sunin skins were for sale for the very first time. Like, then it shows you that the system can be a great way to earn some awesome items by just playing Valhalla. This week was totally better than some of the final months of 2021, but without like a really must get new item. We do by the way have a video up going over all the items of the week, including two weapons. You can find it on our second channel, Assassin Raptor, and I will link to that video in the video description. So yeah, I totally start 2022 with a bit of hope for Red Eye Shop, and it seems that some of the core issues with this whole Opal system are finally, after more than a year, getting some improvements with Dawn of Ragnarok. That new expansion namely seems to include 31 new contracts and I say new like that because they're still very similar with some twists here and there. Andy Reloads mentions that Red Eye gets a spot in a city in the new Swartalfheim realm which is kind of in the middle of the three regions according to the game files found by Petter. I personally would not be surprised if it's the big fortress we see on top of the mountain. Does look that big in the trailers, but maybe it's different in game. And we should also have three Dwarven Reda informants with one in each region, so we can go there for new contracts as well. We now have the description and... The fact is just that they mostly sound very familiar, like the Justice for All has its Avenge the Fallen, so basically kill some enemies. There are contracts for just one enemy, for freeing a captive, we've done countless of times, and even for blowing up cargo, which is the same as the newest contracts they added to England, basically the only new contracts we got in year one. In Dawn of Ragnarok we also get bounties on animals, not really surprising but this does confirm that there will be animals in Swartalfheim and I totally think the pretty cool looking boars from Jotunheim are back but Curious if we have like other mythical variants of Familiar Beasts too that hopefully have some cool moves. But there are totally some contracts that stood out. For example, one saying that a creature of some sort has been sighted several times, each description of it larger than the previous. Kill it. 
could just be window dressing and then we just go there and find out it's an ordinary bear or something. I hope they do something special with it though. There's also this one. A Jotun has let loose his pets to terrorize an area of interest. A reward is given for the slaying of the pet in question. Could once again just be a mission where we have to kill one animal. But maybe it hints at like hunter type Jotun enemies similar to the wolf stormers we have in the main game and of course we have the boar monsters as well there will be contracts for taking out Jotun archers and just archers in general which is kind of new we already have these archers in Jotunheim right now but of course it's not groundbreaking or anything I think the most interesting contracts talks about a specific target. A single Moosepool Traveler is causing a surge of violence lately, making neighbors fight each other, tearing families apart with lies. This so-called Lord of Strife needs to be dealt with. And we have also other contracts talking about a Lord of Change and a Lord of Death. So maybe this like a single regular enemy, but I hope that this a returning, maybe roaming boss that just spawns every time we pick up this contract. I hold my fingers crossed. That would be cool. But yeah, it could really go both ways. Maybe these descriptions are overselling the mission or there are really some cool twists and turns here and there. I... I'm not like expecting too much and then hopefully we are surprised. And we should also expect new contracts in England. One is interesting called an extreme rivalry. An old rivalry between two villages is becoming more and more intense. One side has recently paid mercenaries to mount an attack. The other side needs help. Consider lending them a hand. Maybe this like sort of a defending mechanic. There are new England contracts mentioning boars and bears to kill. And earlier we also had a lynx attack contract leak i just hope that this is one of the many steps they plan to take to improve this overall system because right now i'm not 100 convinced although i do think that the arena is the most interesting addition talked about it many times before this will be a new game mode in dawn of ragnarok where we get to fight mythical creatures and can make these fights more challenging if we want well it seems like we can talk to reda each day to obtain a unique arena challenge which will reward you opal when completed so curious if this is on top of the two daily contracts because then it would be beneficial actually otherwise i also think that people would just go to England instead because that would be like a way quicker way to get the opal for the day. We already had rumors that Red had some sort of influence on the arena. I first thought it would be a weekly challenge. I think that would actually be more fun that we have this weekly challenge that we have to try to solve as a community but according to the files it's daily instead which is pretty wild and then they also shared these challenges which i think are new connect challenges looking at the name and requirements kill 10 enemies in a non-lethal way so i think taking them out with your fist so then when their health is down they're lying on the ground instead of being truly dead lethal fill has to kill enemies with fall damage i totally think this will be easier in a sword of heim because it's seems pretty vertical so yeah get that kick of tear ready and we need to kill enemies with fire without using burning arrows or weapons on fire with the Moosbolheim challenge but there is actually already a Moosbolheim connect challenge in the game right now so they might like tweak the name for this one when we have some actual gameplay for dawn of ragnarok i will of course be the first to tell you here so totally subscribe if you haven't already i will also keep you posted on my second channel assassin raptor and i still expect an update next week or the week after that so maybe we get like a roadmap any day now too i really hope so like the video to support the channel and my previous video on all the content coming to Valhalla is up here on the screen. So you can watch that if you haven't already. And for now, I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.